Hi lovelies, it's me Tiffany and I'm here to do an unboxing with you today of ColourPop. It's a lot, I have a lot to unbox today with you. It's been a while. <clears throat> I finally have my kids, my two older ones are in school. Um, my oldest is in second grade, my, younger, my middle child is in, she's in kindergarten this year. So I'm having a little bit more time now on my hands and I should be back into the swing of things with my videos, fingers crossed. But I'm hoping that I'm getting back into the swing of things. So I figured why not kick it off with an unboxing because I have this box full of goodies. Goodness, let's try. Ah, there we go. Like, ooh, it's gonna fall all out, so I can't. <laughs> so I have that, and then I have another box. And I'm not even gonna say how many orders I have still that I'm waiting for that I will be unboxing with you when they get here. But I figured I should probably get through this haul first before I even try to like doing all of it would have been doing too much. So first I want to start. Oh, first I want to say my name is Tiffany. This is my my YouTube or Instagram channel. However you're watching me today. Um, and I do housewives discuss sesh um, videos. Haven't done one in about two weeks because I still need to catch up been really like out of it in the evenings. I'm just so exhausted from my day that I can't even catch up with like the shows that I really like even, isn't that sad? But I'm I'm looking to catch up on Beverly Hills so I can do a discussion sesh again. That'll probably be a lot of episodes like the last one was with New York, so bear with me. Um, Today though, I'm just gonna, like I said, do the unboxing. Um, everything I have on my face today, I am gonna put in the description box below because I'm really happy with this look that I um, did. I used the Moon Haze palette from ColourPop. I finally used it because I bought it for this specific purpose to do. Um, there's a YouTuber that I just love. Well, he also is on Facebook and Instagram. His name is Benito Skinner or Benny Drama 7. Anyways, he does these really awesome Kardashian parody videos. And um, he's done this look a few times whenever he's like Kylie on them. And he uses like a bright pink, but mine's coral. Uh, so I wanted to recreate this look and it's taken me a while. And I finally did it today. I'm really excited about it. So I'm going to post everything that I've used on my face today in the description box. Um, so let's get started. I'm happy to have you here for anybody that watches my videos, supports me, follows me, subscribes to me. Thank you so much. You're the best. Like seriously. And um, if you don't follow me or are not subscribed to me, you can. Just go ahead and click that button. And like I said, I'm gonna try to roll out more videos, like a lot more than what I have been. So anyways, today I'm gonna do ColourPop um, unboxing. It's a huge haul. Um, and I also first wanna start with, I found this. It's the Dream Street Kathleen Lights in ColourPop. Okay, first I should probably go ahead and like let everybody know. I've always been into makeup, like, Always. I remember as a teenager, I would do my friend's makeup, like if we were going to go out and do something in our city. We had this dance club for like teenagers, and it was something that me and a few of my friends would really like to do. Um, so I would like do their makeup and mine, and oh, it was so much fun. So I've always really been into makeup. However, I kind of had a hiatus of even playing with it because with having, you know, young kids and um, didn't really have the time for myself that I wanted to. So like little by little, I've been getting more and more back into my makeup and um, I'm really enjoying it. So 
That's why I'm late on this Dream Street collection because I wasn't even, I didn't probably even know about ColourPop when this came out. Um, but I happened to find it because I've heard really great things. So I happened to find it on Amazon and um, I just am happy that I did because this is gonna be really great for the fall. Like I really like this water bearer and then mermaid boy, like that'll be fun for fall, all of them. So there's like good amount of shimmers and you got your mats. So I'm hoping to have a lot of fun creating some looks with this one. So I had to share that with you guys because I was pretty excited to have found that with how I, I think it came out in 2017. So I mean, that's a pretty long time. All right, so we're gonna just get into this ColourPop box. I've um, been making lots of orders because they've had really good sales. Um, like they're 25% off of their eyeshadow palettes. Like how can you not take advantage of that? So I do have the Misunderstood. This is the Villains, um, Disney Villains collection. So on their website, they don't have um, swatches. So I've really passed over this one multiple times. And then I found swatches of it online. And once I saw the swatches of it, I was like, I need it, you know? I also really love Disney. Like I'm like probably most women in my age group or just most people in my age group. I grew up on Disney, like everything Disney Channel, Disney movies, just Disney. So having that in my collection is honestly like not a bad thing. And speaking of Disney, I um, did get the Thumper the Bambi Thumper eyeshadow palette because I have been um, eyeballing it for a while. Excuse me. I've been eyeballing it and then it went on sale for like $7. I was like, you know what? I'm going to treat myself to that. And we're going to get that. So I did get Thumper. And it, come, and it has a little mirror. Look at that. Aww, little mirror. Okay, so look at that. There's the colors. Really, the green right here. I'm thumping. That's the one that I like. Really got to, I got attracted to that one first out of the whole um palette. But I like the, the, the mauves and the shimmery pink and the shimmery like purple. You see that one right here? Great big feel. Is that what it's called? Yeah, great big feel. Or feet. Great big feet. That's a T, not an L. But like, I like that shimmer. So I'm happy that I got that. And I also went ahead and I got the, um, the Bambi, the cream gel pencil trio. I really only wanted two colors, but again, they had it on sale. So it's like, why only get the two? when you could get all three. This one is, this is one of the ones I wanted. This is Meadow. There we go. And I'm just really into this shade. I wish that my, my camera would focus better. It's not going to, but it's very pretty. Here, I could even just, durr. So there's Meadow. They are, the tops are a little hard to get on. I'm gonna just be honest with that. This one is Raindrops. And I'm pretty, the, these two are the ones that I really wanted um, out of the whole cream, um, the cream liner, gel liner collection that they have for Bambi. Cream gel, okay, I'm making sure I was saying it right. It seemed weird to say cream gel, but that's what it's called. Then this last one is Purdy. Can't even draw on myself with it. Cause it's like in there, I'm gonna have to sharpen it down. But anyways, 
I'm going to sharpen it. Well, here's these two colors, these two shades. Uh, uh, this is Meadow, and then this is rain, Raindrops, yes. So, Meadow and Raindrops, and I think that they're, I like them. Those are the ones I wanted. It is worth mentioning that I already have the Bambi um, the highlighter, like with the poofy thing. Oh, love it. And I have all of the um, Bambi lip glosses. Gosh, I couldn't even think. And I really like them. So, just saying. So, this was the Blushing Nude Palette Duo. Um, I'm pretty sure, I want to say that this was just in there 80% off. I got it, of course, before it went to 80% off. But I have Nude Mood here. Nude Mood. It's a great little neutral nude palette. Because you can't have enough of those, right? And then I have the Blush Crush. And this one just has a lot of like pinks and um, Mauve colors. Pretty. And let's see. So, oh, so they came out with the Cabana Club um, palette this summer. I finally got it. Very pretty. Very pretty colors. Definitely reminds me of being like poolside and I love... I love this, the, the design, the design. I like the design up here. Gosh, I can't even think. Then I did get Sweet Talk because <clears throat> it really like spoke to me. Just all these pretty corals and browns and shimmers. I really like the shimmers. Ooh. Oh, oh, so I found another thing on Amazon too that they don't have anymore. It's the ColourPop Land Candy Castle eyeshadow palette. Honestly, I wish I was into ColourPop back when it first got released. I would have probably got the whole um, collection, but oh, love it. Candy Land was like one of my all-time favorite board games growing up, so I had to have it. Had to have it. I got the Limit Le Mans eyeshadow palette, which came out this past spring, I believe, if I'm remembering right. And at first, I was like, I don't need that. Um, I wasn't really drawn to the colors, but I'm in this um, group on Facebook, a color pop group, and I've seen so many great looks in it, and I was like, you know what? We probably should add that to the collection. So I did. Um, there's a lot of yellows and like nudes. And then you have this pop of blue right there. I've seen some great looks with it. So I'm not regretting. I'm not regretting. Okay. And it's a few more. Oh, Wild Child. I finally got this one. I'm so into ColourPop now. I just want every single eyeshadow palette. I think that I'm getting there. A little at a time. Oh, my cat's in here. Don't mind my cat. She can't help herself. Um, so I got the, the Wild Child. And um, I think it's going to be a fun, warm toned, like glam look is what I was thinking. I really, I've always been a lover of browns. So my sister... I remember being like 11 or 12 and I always liked makeup um, at those ages like that were just probably the most awkward stage of life with makeup was that age because I didn't have YouTube videos and all the stuff that girls have now. So, oh my kitty. Here's Winnie. She wants to be a part of it, I guess. But um, anyways, so 
I used to think that, you know, pinks and purples and blues and, you know, greens and stuff. That was like what I played around with. My sister always used browns and I was like, oh, why does she want to wear browns? But then, you know, when she would go off to school and I'd be there, I'd play with her makeup. And then I became infatuated with browns and I can't get myself to like, it's really hard for me to pass up a really good palette with browns in it. Like, even though I probably already own the colors, I still have to have it because I'm just addicted to the browns. Little at a time though, I really worked myself out of the show. I'm, I'm really enjoying doing more bold looks, but I still really love my neutrals. I still love my neutrals. So another um, release I did this summer was the Lush Life. And I wasn't interested in the cheek do. Um, I don't know. I'm just not into the liquid bleach or bleach, liquid blush. I'm just not into the liquid blush. So I didn't do the cheek do's, but I do have um, one of the glosses on my, on its way, but this is the palette. And this just reminds me of, which is obvious with the design of a jungle. It really gives me just like rainforest thing vibes. It's definitely like fitting with the theme. So uh, again, I passed over this, but then I've seen really good looks with it. So I have my, ugh, I wanna play with it. I wanna play with it. So I'm gonna play with it and we're gonna have fun with it. And I think that I could even do like fall looks with it too. Um, especially these, more, like more of these colors. I kind of wear a lot of those colors in the fall. And I definitely wear like royal blue, like, you know, in the um, winter. So I'm a Duke fan, so I can even wear it with my Duke game days. I'm going to have to do that. Okay. So the next one I'm going to do is, um, so they have the ice cream, the scoop collection right now, which the packaging, scoop's cute. But I wasn't into a lot of the quads because um, they look like dupes to me, especially like, uh, I think it's called Sunday Fun Day. It reminds me of the Barbie palette. And I was like, so I don't need that because I already basically have that. Um, this one's called Rainbow Sprinkles and it basically just has different shimmeries that you can do. So I had to grab this one because I figured I could always use it on top of other colors that I already have. You know, nothing wrong with that. Oh, yes, yes. This one is part of the Garden Variety collection, and it's one of their Lux glosses. And, or, no, it's a lip oil. I'm obsessed with their Lip Lux collection. Obsessed. And this one's called Rain Check. And to me, it was like a color I just don't I just don't have it's unique like I don't have this kind of color in a lip um already because it's the shimmers plus the color I don't know I'm super super into it now let me go on to my super shocks and let me talk about the raw Christy beauty collection I totally missed it. Like, I've gotten a few things from the collection that they still have available, but I didn't get as much as I wanted. Here's some of the um, few items I got this time around. This is a super shock, and it's called Campfire. Um, Jamie French, she a youtuber she's used to do a lot of makeup videos but now she's kind of rebranding herself and gonna start doing other things but she still has her her videos up of her beauty and makeup ones you know so she was talking about this one in one of her videos that i was watching this is called campfire And it's just like such a unique shade. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna get that. Fall's around the corner. Fall's my favorite time of year. These are good fall colors. 
So I'm really sad that I never got the um, At Forest Sight shadow palette because now I want it so badly and it's very hard to find. I found one on Amazon. $70? No, I'm not buying that palette for $70. So I'm just settling for what I could grab. This one's called Like a Moss. And it's just such a pretty, like, green. Like, look at that. I need to get more on there, huh? Darn it. There you go. You can kind of see it shimmery. Mm. Ooh. Sorry, I wish my lighting would cooperate with me better. But yeah, I think it's a pretty color. Oh. So those are the two, two of the super shocks that were in her collection. The one I really wanted, I think it's called Olympic. Yeah, I can't get that one. And then here's one of her glosses. I have Wildflower. And then this one is called Glacier. And Jamie said that it's like a perfect to... And, I would have to agree after seeing it. Just a nice topper. Like you could wear it on its own, but it's really, it would really look good as like something really nice to go over, like maybe a good mat or something. I'm a shimmery person. I know there's like a lot of people that don't like shimmers, but I love shimmers and glitters. So I'm all for the extras, you know. Then I have these two super shocks and these are from also the Wild Child collection. Uh, I have this one and it's called Basic Instinct. And it's a nice, I don't want to, this is not a chocolate brown. This is more, mm, I don't even know what I want to say this is, like a bronze or so pretty though like it's so shimmery and just wonderful oh look at that i'm like getting really into their super shock shadows and i'm having trouble figuring out where to store all of them and then i have a they just released the disney a disney vault shadow super super shock shadow collection and I of course had to buy it because again I love Disney so this one is free rain and that one's a chocolate brown that one's yeah mm, I, fun with that one. I just love a nice chocolate brown smoky eye look. oh it's just I love it okay my first box guys look at that we got through the first box okay now the second one. This one isn't as much. This is just a crap ton of palettes. So, again, I just, I think I just mentioned how they had their 25% um, off palettes sale. So, I got a few, like, lust for dusk. Been eyeing this bad boy. I think it, I want to say that this one went to Ulta first, and I'm not an Ulta shopper. Um, so, I believe it went there first before it made its way to the actual ColourPop website. And when it did, I was pretty excited. Look at that. Oh, my goodness. Look at those grays. And the coral. I love, like, those two. I like those two together. I like peach coralies and coral colors and grays. But yeah, I like the amount of shimmeries in here. I think there's only one. Mm, that's not really pressed glitter. But yeah, we have multiple metallics and shimmers and mattes and just, oh, it's beautiful. I feel like. It has some unique colors in it. Um, 
And the color story. I'm just really, I'm really into the color story. Oh, it's beautiful. I love it. I love it. I haven't even got to use it yet, but I already love it. Like, and I don't have to even question ColourPop shadows. I already know what I'm going to get when I buy a palette from them. I already know I'm going to love the way that the, the product feels. I already know I'm going to love the way that it applies. I know that I'm going to love the way it blends out. I just, I know that I'm going to love everything about it. The color, or should I say the look, the feel. Mm -hmm. I'll be all for it. Every time. I've not been disappointed with a single palette formula that I've gotten from them. And I have at least 40 some palettes. Just seeing. Here is the whatever palette, which is giving me, every time I think of whatever, I think of Clueless because who could ever forget the, not me. And it has cheetah print on the front and on the side. And I love cheetah print. So yeah, very pretty. Um, again, I think that this will be fun for fall. Just some really rich colors. I finally got, okay, so what's really funny is that the Sweet Talk palette, I was so unsure if I wanted that or if I wanted Baby Got Peach. So of course I like asked the ladies in the group, ladies, I'm, there's some gentlemen in my group too, so I asked my group, my fellow group members, um, in the ColourPop group on Facebook, I asked them what they thought of the two. And I'm so happy that I ended up just getting both of them because it was really hard to decide. And I like that this is more peachy. Hungry Ghost is, I think, really what appealed to me, is that pressed glitter. Again, I know that there's makeup um, lovers out here that do not like a pressed glitter, but I'm really into it. So I can't wait to play with this one and get even this one right here. That shade looks like just beautiful. <laughs> just, ugh. Mm. I'm being so like light on The colors, eh. but there's that gay even right here. Mm. Oh, I'm in love. Okay, I can't. I just can't. Okay, next cloud dye. So I had my eye on two of the palettes in here, aura and out, and in a trance. But they had Aura and Out was out of stock and just the palette. And they had the sale where all of them were on sale. Or should I say the whole, the whole collection right now is, it's in their 80% off. So you might still be able to find it um, if you are interested in it. So this is what it looks like on the inside. We got Miss Bliss, we got Aura and Out, and we got um, In a Trance. So let's do Aura and Out first because that's the one I really wanted in the first place. Ooh. So pretty. I used to be really intimidated by greens and now I'm really not like at all anymore. I'm, they're not as, Um, dramatic. It's not as dramatic on me as what I always pictured it would be. And then I have Miss Bliss. This is like the pink. Ooh. There we go. Pretty. So they have like the same kind of white glitter. But that one has, that, this one has more of like a pinkish purple 
shimmer in it and then this one had like more greens so and whites but here's miss bliss and we have anna trainer and i was i think this one is like the one i even wanted even more than aura now because i'm like a tie-dye fanatic if you can't tell oh my gosh this would even make this one work with my shirt I have on now guys but here's the um in a trance palette mm. oh and just like with with greens I also used to be really hesitant about blues um I still I'm still iffy with blues because I don't think I can pull them off that well even though I love blue like it's one of my favorite colors I think I just need to play around with it more to find out what is appealing on my eye shape. And Next, the last two of this haul. Um, I've had my eye on for a while because it's their their larger pan palettes. Um, I feel like if you're really into ColourPop, um, these are like a staple to have right here. And if you're not really into ColourPop or if you're just learning about ColourPop and you don't wanna do some of their more um, dramatic palettes and you don't want to spend money on like a nine pan palette i think these are the way to go you have bare necessities which is like a warmer look palette and then you have cold stone cold fox which is like a cooler tone um palette and i think that i wanted them both because i think that you can intertwine them or you know i think it's just a good each one of them is a good part for your collection, should I say, because um, you can just do so much with it. You really can. These are 30 pan palettes. This one's Stone Cold Fox. So you have a lot more of the grays in there um, and, and black and just a lot more cool tone, to like taupes and mauves you have a lot of shimmeries you have a lot of mattes you just have so much to work with highlighting shades smoky shades you just you got it all and this is the cool tone one cool tone stone cold fox and then i have the bare necessities um palette and this one's the warmer of the two. And I love that it's called Bare Necessities because I think of the Jungle Book. The Bare Necessities. So as you can see, it's a lot more warm tone than what the uh, Stone Cold Fox. Keep on wanting to say Cold Stone Fox. That does not make any sense. But again, you have like highlighter shades, you got your darker shades, you got your warm shades, you got um, like your warm darker ones, you got warm lighter ones, you, you have it all. And like I said, I really feel like these two together, you can really cross between the two of them. So I have Stone Cold Fox up top and then I have the Bare Necessities on the bottom. And just like these two together, I, I'm in love. I'm really, I can't wait. Just so everybody is aware, this, everything I've showed you today, I did not get sent for free. I'm not on their PR list. I, um... I just really love the brand. I love the company. I love their products. Um, they put out a lot of releases. Uh, I feel like each week is something new. So I've caught on to that and I've really paid closer attention to where I'm putting my money. Um, because I, I, if I wasn't married and I didn't have three kids, I'd probably buy so much color pop it would be just ridiculous i'd just be working to feed the habit and addiction of buying color that was my like huge haul with you guys
today and I'm really happy that I got to share it with you. I have more stuff coming and I want to do like a full face ColourPop video, which I'm sure that a lot of people have done. However, I want to do it just for myself. I think it'll be fun to do because I really love ColourPop. Um, I just recently purchased like their foundation and um, their tinted fountain moisturizer. I made like a big order where I have stuff I could do like my whole face with. So I want to do a video where it's a full face color pop. Um, and I think I, I have that one in mind. This was like my huge haul for the day. Can you guys, like, ah. but yeah, here it is. Let's see. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. It's a big one. And like I said, none of this was sent to me for free. Um, just ask my husband. Thank you so much for spending time with me today. Uh, thank you for watching. If you've been watching, thank you. I will have another Housewives Discuss Sesh video coming out sometime soon. I need to catch up. I need to catch up. It's been really bad. Um, and I'm going to have more ColourPop that comes to my house. So I don't know if I'm going to... Maybe what I'll do is, I'm thinking, maybe I'll do an unboxing and then I'll do a full face of ColourPop. That might be the way I go about it. But anyways, if you can't tell, this is like one of my favorite makeup brands. If you've never checked them out, please go ahead and make yourself happy by going and looking at that website because I'm telling you what it brings me pure joy every time I click on there go ahead and check them out I don't think that you'll be disappointed and if you are I'm gonna be really surprised because they have really great products and for good price point and um I, yeah I I'm just saying I'm all for it <laughs> but um what was I gonna say I had fun spending time with you all and just uh, getting to chat about some new stuff I got. I would love to know if you are a big ColourPop fan. I would love to know what your favorite products have been from the brand. Um, you know, like what palettes you like or what products you like or, you know, whether they're new, whether they're old, whether they're still available, but they're not. I just want to know what you think because I want to, I like to share my love of ColourPop with others. So please share with me. Um, other than that, you all have a great day and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.